The next one is the GPA. And GPAs, we want quite a bit of precision. Uh, this one is a number and uh, specifically a floating point number, right? It has a decimal point in it. So we can use the type decimal and you can spell that out entirely or there's an accepted abbreviation in SQL Server and you can put just DEC. Now this one has two different values in parentheses and the first one says how many uh, digits you want in the number and we want a lot of precision on GPAs to, so we don't have rounding errors and such. So let's go ahead and say we want actual seven digits in the entire number. And then the second number after a comma specifies how many of those digits are to the right of the decimal place. And with GPAs, we have one digit that's left of the decimal place and all the rest are to the right. So that will leave a six to the right of that. The next one is class standing, and this is like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, uh, graduate, those kind of class standings. So uh, we could use a character, F, S, um, J, S, and so two S's won't work. So we could use two characters. Or another way that we could do it is to simply use a number that said, you know, one for your first year, two for your second year, three for your third year and so forth. If we did that, then we could use a tiny int and that would be uh, cheaper, right? That would be a smaller data type. So let's go ahead and use a tiny int for class standing. For known phone number, a really common way to do this is to simply put the digits and not any of the um, punctuation for the phone number, but just put the 10 digits themselves. And so we're going to do that. Another really common thing is to make those just characters. So if we can go ahead and do a character and make it exactly 10 digits long so we get all of those in there. And then user ID. Now user ID we've already decided. This is associated with the user ID that's up here in the user table. So it's really important to use exactly the same data type. So those need to match. Uh, exactly. So we'll just copy paste that and then we see here in registration we have another user ID again related that same that to that same user ID value. So we need that to be exactly the same type. Next we have a section number. Let's go check that out in the problem statement. And it says a semester I mean a section, right? Each section has a unique section number. So it doesn't specify exactly what that unique section number is supposed to be. We know this unique section number will be an int. So how many of those are we going to need? Well, a tiny int won't be big enough. And even if we go to a small int, that only goes up to 32,000. And that still might not be quite enough because we have a lot of sections every semester and we have sections each semester. So over time, this is going to be a really large number. So let's go ahead and make this an int to make sure it's big enough to do that. For grades, we can look at the problem statement. We can see that these are the options for grades and every single grade is either one or two characters. So we can identify this. We can make it a var char so that uh, it can be either one or two and then we'll put in here the biggest one is two. Now section number shows up again in this table, right? So we've just talked about what that needs to be and so we'll make that an int. And the instructor is really a user, right? And so this is identifying which user is the instructor for this section. So we'll go back and we'll use this exact same type as we have for users there. And then we need to identify what is the course. And uh, what are we looking for here? So we haven't done courses yet, so what would the course ID of the course be? If we check out the problem statement, and it says that a course number is exactly four digits long. And so that tells us we're going to have an integer for the course number, but it's four digits long, so that tells how big. So a tiny int only goes up to 255, that's not big enough but a small int would be big enough because it goes up to over 32,000. So a small int would be the big enough right here. So when you have that course ID, be small int. Sorry, that was the course number, oops. So let's go ahead and copy that down to the 
course number. For the course ID, we need to decide how many different courses would we have. And again, we need to talk about would um, 32,767 be big enough? Will we ever have more courses than that? Uh, to make this system really robust, big enough, let's go ahead and make this an int as well, as we did with section number. Now notice there won't be as many uh, courses as there are sections, so it is possible that uh, a small int would work for us here as well. So in computer science, we probably have a oh, hundred courses on the book in just that one department, and we have, I don't know what, 12 or so departments in the College of Sci of College of Engineering. So th that anyway, so the numbers could get really big. So let's go ahead and leave it at an int. And then department. We've already talked about department up here, so we'll call ahead and copy that and put it down there. Title, what would be how big do we want the name of a course to be? This will definitely be variable, but it will be bigger than 8. So uh, let's make it variable 128. And that will make it big enough. Description also will be variable because the descriptions will be different sizes. So, um, But still varchar, this one for sure bigger. So let's go ahead and make this 2048. And then we'll have enough room to describe those as big as they want to be. And because it's variable, that means they can be as small as needed as well. And then for credits, um, how many credits can a course be? So we can think a course could be very common as three or four. There might be one that's five or six, but those are all really small numbers. So a tiny int will work here. Certainly it will be less than 255. Now that we've defined what a course is, we can go back and for up here where our course ID is, in the section, we can say it's related to this course, and we can use that course ID value to identify which course it is. Uh, semester, now if we look here in semester, it's very specific what semesters are, and they're two characters long. So this one we can make a char and make it exactly two characters. The year is specified, again, is four digits long which can be represented by a small int. And the building the, <clears throat> is a three character building code and a three digit number. So the building code can be character three and the room number can be a uh, small int is big enough, tiny int is not. Since we know that room number is four, um, it's four numbers, or sorry, three numbers long, right? So it's a three digit number. We could use charge here because we know it's three and we won't be doing any calculations. But a three characters would take up three bytes, whereas a small int only takes up two bytes. So that still makes it smaller. So we'll go ahead and make room number a small int. Then we have course ID and prereq course ID, and these are actually ID, theirs are directly related to the course ID in the course table. So we're, again, these need to be exactly the same type, so I'm just going to simply copy and paste those in there so they're exactly the same type. And there we've defined the data type for each attribute or each column in these tables.